What's going on everybody? It is me, Schmitty, and today we are going to be starting episode 2 of Sharpening Iron here on my YouTube. In the last episode, we played 3 games and we ended 1-1-1. One, one, and one. This week, we're going to be doing 3 more games, and our first one is going to be on Haven, where we're going to be playing some Cypher. This is a fun game, and I hope you guys enjoy the content. Spike down yeah. A. Enemy spotted A. I have retrieved the spike. Enemy mid. Rena killed. My ultimate weapon here. Everyone hiding. I have retrieved the spike. Thirty seconds left. Last player standing. Planted the spike. One of the big problems that I've been realizing with my gameplay recently is my aim is pretty bad consistently. So instead of going for the headshot right away, I go for the body shot and hope I slide up to a headshot. So like right there you just saw on that raise my aim was horrible and it was just all over the place. So I'm trying to be better about it, but I think that I've made some improvements to my aim already. And if I continue to make the improvements that I want to, I will get better and better every episode. Like. I'm now consistently hitting body shots, which is good on peaks and whatnot, but I want to start getting those head shots and eventually I want to be able to just have better aim than a potato. So like right here, I have another one where I just start flailing my spray and it just goes disastrously. Our spike carrier is killed. Spike down mid. Here. Where is everyone hiding? Careful now. Last player dead. It is. One enemy remains. I have retrieved the spike. Down. One thing that we quickly realized about this game that was that our setups were wrong. We kept playing mainly A and C and tried to play retake on B, but it didn't really work because there were so many avenues that they could come from that we really struggled. But here, we kind of hit a groove and we found a way to better defend it, which involved a shotgun. As you can see, my reaction times are very, very poor, and that is something that I'm trying to get better at. But Fortunately, I was able to pick up a new gun here, and so I wasn't in a bucky here, but I had a vandal instead, and I was able to eventually get the 3k to win the round. Last player standing. Tip wide destroyed. Standing. All things considered, for how the first game went, it was fun, it was a close game, everyone seemed evenly matched skill-wise in the game, so there wasn't that one smurf that was taking over, but we end it with a final line of 18, 15, and 6, which is not bad for me, and we lose 12 RR though, which is unfortunate, but I quickly jump into another game here to try to make it up, and this time it has us actually going to one of the new maps, we are going to Pearl for game number two of this video. Good day, 
Within the first round of this game, we knew that the KO on our team was strong. He was jumping around, trying to give away our position about where we were, and was mainly trolling this raid the entire time. So I picked Rain in this game because we didn't really have enough duelists in my opinion, so I had to put on my big boy pants and try to carry a game for once. Last player standing. How does that not count? After the first half, we were down 4-8 to eight in rounds, and we were trying to be more aggressive here, but it unfortunately wasn't much of a difference. The KO still had not turned around his attitude, so he was a detriment to us, so it was mainly a 4 versus 5 this entire game. Last player standing. Although we were not letting the game get too far out of hand, we always seemed to be down or behind on the plays here, which is awkward because we were the attacking side, but the KO had started to change his mind a little. 
he realized that his ways were kind of just getting annoying at this point, so he started to actually work with the team. And there you can see I make the mistake of reloading while peeking a corner, which was almost deadly. You should run. That KO really costed us the game, but I end with the final line of 20, 15, and 4, losing another 19 points for the rank here. In game 3, I really wanted to get a win for this video to try to at least save some of the points that we lost through the first two games. Fortunately, we load into Lotus, which is a map that I'm surprisingly better at for game number 3 of this video. And it turns out that my team was actually really good. We communicated a lot, and the pings and just all the callouts were very active, and which helped us out a lot. Oh, he was going to spike carry on his kid. Last player standing. Spike down A. One enemy I have remaining. The spike. It's Last player standing. Oh, my God. My ult, give me a, give me a corpse. Give me, where is everyone hiding? 30 seconds left. This was one of the weirder attacking sides of Lotus that I have ever had. This is a very aggressive defensive sided team that we were playing against, so we didn't have to stray very far from our spawn. They kept contesting us on our side of the map on the, for the points, so we kept taking fights in the hallway, in mid here and near the sand pile. And it was very interesting to see because we kept winning and they never really changed their strategy throughout the game. Cool. Should have known then. You are powerless. Here. Good trades, good trades. Yeah. There might be one more. Oh my god. That's not bad. Careful, he's right next to you. Shut down. Sleep, brother. Spike down A. Got you. I have retrieved the spike. Wait, wait, wait. One enemy remaining. I wanted to get on the tripwire. In this game, we took an early 9 to 1 lead here in rounds, and we knew awesome. that this game was ours to lose, so we just bunkered down, tried to play smart, and didn't really try to take too many stupid fights because we wanted to win this one quickly. And I definitely did because I knew this was a good game to get a win on because I normally don't winning. win on Lotus all that much. I guess that answers that question. Let's not go there. One enemy remaining. Okay, he has a shotgun, bro. So good. Dead. No heart. NT.
as we finish up this last round here, we do get the win here after I get a nice kill on the harbor here to ensure that we have the player advantage spawn, 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 spawn. the game. So as we are finishing up this game here, I just wanted to give you a quick shout out and say thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the content, feel free to hit that like button down below. Leave a comment saying anything that you'd like me to do with these videos going forward. But as this one ends, I go 14, 13, and 3, gaining back 19 of the points we lost. So that'll finish it up here for episode 2 of Sharpening Iron. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and most of all, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.